Yo, yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we are going to be talking about Shung Yun. Now, uh, for this guy we are going to be reviewing the weapons, artifacts, and also showing some gameplay. Uh, there is a lot of different sets for Shung Yun, so I will be going over most of them uh, in this video. I will we'll try to cover some uh, famous team comps as well. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright, so now for the weapons, I'm currently using the Serpent Spine. Now, uh, if you are free to play and you don't have the Serpent Spine, you can go for the Prototype Animus. Some people actually prefer the Animus over the Spine, so that's just even better for you. Uh, personally, I do, I do prefer Critical Ray. Also, if you do have the Skyward Blade, uh, that's, I, in my opinion, his best weapon. But uh, the Wolf's Gravestone also is very, very good as well if you have that. Alright, and for my Gladiator Artifacts, as always, I am going Critical Rate, Critical Damage. Now, like I said before, you can't really uh, farm Gladiator Pieces, so if you get the Gladiator Pieces, like, good. If not, then uh, just you're gonna have to run something like this. Uh, you have to want to go Cryo Damage with the Cup, and Critical Damage or Critical Rate, depending on what sword you're using. I'm using a Critical Rate Sword, so Critical Damage hat is best for me. If you're using a prototype animus, you might want to use a critical ray hat. Just make sure you balance this out. Uh, you don't want to be having 20 critical ray with 200% critical damage. So just make sure it's uh, it's at least 50 to 100 or something like that. Alright, as far as my stats for Chungyun, I'm doing 1700 attack. Uh, I got around 50% critical ray, 152% critical damage, 133 elemental mastery, and 46 cryo bonus. Also, he is a C6 unit, and also all level 6 stats with a level 7 uh, Q. And uh, it's also boosted by level 3 because of the constellations. Alright, so I did try a bunch of different sets when using Chang Yun. Uh, as you can see, there's a Nobles and a Cryo Set, a Cryo Set and a Gladiator, and a 4-piece Gladiator, and the damage numbers as well. Now, uh, if you guys want to do like a Melt Comp with your Q and do as much damage as possible, then I recommend using the Nobles and the Cryo Set. If you want to do just a Shadow Comp with Xing Shu, I recommend using a full Gladiator Set. But if you want like a Middle Ground, when sometimes you want to just do everything you can just go for the cryo and the gladiator though i recommend usually when building a unit you should uh, try to specialize in something and have that unit be good really good at something rather than just be like niche at like you know every little thing so uh yeah all right for this team composition uh we have a uh, shungyun elemental burst team uh basically just going to be focusing around uh bennett's uh melt so it's going to be Bennett, build around energy recharge and uh, sucrose, build very descent set, full very descent with the uh, elemental mastery. So her passive gives elementary mastery to Chungyun while also decreasing the cryo damage from the very descent set. And uh, basically all you want to do is uh, use Mel with your Q. The combo is going to be something like Chungyun E, sucrose uh, E. And then you want Bennett Q, Bennett E, Shangyun Q. Pretty sure that's right. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go for a different team comp. Okay, and for this set right here, you're gonna see this a lot when uh, using Shangyun. Uh, Xingxu and Shangyun, one of the best combos there is out there. Uh, you just basically wanna use Xingxu's uh, Q and then Shangyun's uh, E. And you can freeze and freeze and do a shatter build that works very, very nicely. And you can use Bennett just to boost everybody up and also heal. Alright, I'm sure you guys have seen this set used within the last few weeks when the new Cryo set has been released. Basically how this works is you just use uh, Shungun's E and then uh, Xingxu's Q and everybody's frozen. And since uh, Shungun shatters everybody when he hits them, this is where Kaya comes in. He has a sword, so they'll be perma frozen, and he won't shatter anybody, and he'll get that 40 and the 20% uh, bonus. Also, the elemental residence for Kaya is 15%, so you can basically have 75% critical rate with zero critical rate on your actual artifacts, and that way you can stack critical damage. So we're gonna try doing this like damage combo thing. Now I'm probably only gonna hit like 60k or lower, just because my Sucrose doesn't have that much elemental mastery. She only has the weapon and everything else is just kind of just the actual set. If you guys do want to maximize this, just try to get Elemental Mastery on everything you are possibly able to, including substats. 
Also for your Bennett, you want to run a very high damage sword. I should have probably used that Koala, but I'm just going to keep this for uh, fair testing. And uh, you also should have uh, Noble S on him as well. So make sure you got that for both of these units. But just, the case, just for uh, showing you guys how to actually do the combo, I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate it here. And if you guys want to build like a uh, huge damage team comps, you can, but I personally don't really care too much about it. So first you apply the pyro, you hit him with the E, you melt, you add the cryo on him. Oh, there you go. And then you E with sucrose, you all with Bennett, you put the cryo back on him. I mean the pyro, and then you melt him. Still did like 100k. Not too bad, but now you guys do know the combo, and uh, yeah. Alright, if you guys do see like uh, 50k damage come out of Shengyun, pay no attention to it, because uh, this, uh, what is this, this Abyss is actually boosted his cryo damage by 75%, I believe. I have no idea why he's still hitting 60k, but I mean 6k with a normal attack, but... That is not boosted by the domain. But anyways, uh, I did want to show this because it is floor 11 and I know a lot of people are doing it best at this time. So uh, pretty cool to bring him along on your floor 11 team just because he can be your main cryo damage dealer. And I'm sure everyone has a pretty good uh, gladiator piece by now. So you can just throw on him and have some fun. He's a really fun unit overall as well. So uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy him and uh, that is going to be it for this video today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you do enjoy this kind of content, make sure you press like on the video. And also if you want to see some more Genshin Impact related content in the future, make sure you give me a sub and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.